behind the line. Three, two, one, go. The sandstorm is upon us as the drivers move out from the hab zone. Beyond the safety of the hab, they are sightless, cannot see their machines. And now the sandstorm lifts and drivers gain vision. Gravy getting caught up at the end of the cargo ship there. They lose control of that hatch panel, but their partner, Rockstar Robotics, able to place a hatch up high on their Red Alliance rocket ship. 7450, that is the aimbots using that big old claw mechanism to grab a cargo and place it down in their cargo ship. Real-time scoring has Red Alliance with a slight advantage. Blue Alliance working the rocket ship. That's the Robo Rays. Scoring for Blue. Got a hatch panel down there on the lowest level. Now here comes Blue Alliance once again. The aimbots taking that big old claw and a piece of cargo down into the cargo ship. Blue Alliance now with the lead as we approach one minute left in this match. Red Alliance trying to get something going. Had a great sandstorm period. And there they go now scoring a hatch panel on that Red Alliance rocket. Closing that gap to only two points. But here comes Blue. All three Blue Alliance machines with cargo in their possession. Let's see what they can do with it now with 40 seconds left. Another hatch panel scored for your Red Alliance. That sound means there's 30 seconds left in this game. There goes 1744 Robo Race for a level three climb. As these teams reach the end of the game with 20 seconds left, they're gonna move back into their hab zones and try to climb levels one, two, or three of the hab. Robo Race seem to be secure up on level three. The other two Alliance machines are on level one. Red Alliance, they're trying to make it down there. Let's see if anybody can make that climb as time expires. Takes off first, winning by a score of 44 to 33. Blue Alliance scored 18 points worth of half climb. You need a minimum of 15 to earn that extra ranking point. So Blue Alliance earns two ranking points for the win.